Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I am sat at my computer because I had a copyright flag come up from yesterday's video and I was like, what? Um, so the royalty free music that I used in the content yesterday was the flag. Um, now it was music that I used via an app that I pay to use. And, uh, yeah, so apparently there's a copyright claim, but it doesn't affect me. Don't know. So I'm not going to be using the same music. Sorry. I'm going to use one that YouTube supplies because I don't need that level of stress when I wake up first thing in the morning to go, ah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was fun. It is minus seven Celsius here and everything is white. Um, there's a hard frost. Uh, the snow that we had day before yesterday didn't settle at all um, because it rained afterwards. So yes, I'm on my dressing gown. It's that cold. Um, but yeah, so Thank you to those of you that watched yesterday and I hope you enjoy today's vlogs. See you later. It's time to open today's advent. <laughs> so, Helix advent. Day two. sprinkle of wishes. So this is water on you. It's a palette for eyes and face. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh, look at the packaging. Mm, it's so cute. Wow. Okay, that's really pretty. So we've got three neutrals and a sparkle. Definitely gingerbread men. Oh, lovely. That'll go very well with my hazel eyes. Mm. So while I do some more crochet on Kira's blanket, my hook's just come up. Um, I'm going to be watching yesterday's Vlogmas by my friends. So, but I thought I'd show you the blanket first. So let me just pull it through. So it is now flipping huge. Um, I got Neve to take a photo of it on her bed so that I can see how much more I've got so it's but it is now mm, very wide um, so there's the middle panels and then I've got the stripes and then I've done some backs and forwards of the charcoal and then I've got uh, Two rows of each of the colours, then I've gone to um, four rows of the charcoal, and then I've done single crochet with the black burgundy in light grey. And now I'm doing five rows of the charcoal. I've done the same on this side, so on this side, I just need to do the five of charcoal. Well, I'm actually doing four, and then I will be crocheting across the top and the bottom to give it a nice border but it's 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 huge and it weighs a ton 
I've had to buy really big Christmas socks to put it in. Um, but I hope to have the one side of this finished today. Um, in theory, I should be able to get it finished today, but that's pushing myself. I'm not about that these days. I need life to be slow. Um, and then I have to finish joining all these squares onto Kim's blanket. So Kim's, I need to weave in all these ends. I've got this folded in half. Um, see? So, so far I joined these. So, so I need to do the three down there. And then I've got this bag to join. So I did myself a little sketch, turn your pencil, so I can tick off as I join. <clears throat> so I've still got uh, five rows of 16 plus three to join. Um, 178 squares and I have 52 left to join but I'm going to be trying to do a different join um, I was doing the join as you go type so you know you work uh, you do your, your two sides and then you join here and then you join here sort of thing but on my next row, I'm doing the one where you work uh, out, down, like that. And then you do your, your bottom row coming back up. I think that's how it was. I'm going to have to watch the video to try it again. Anything to save a bit of time because these take so long to, to join. Um, but yeah, I've been working on this for years. Um, she may finally get it this Christmas. Um, so those are Kim and Kira's crochet blankets. And then Neve's blanket. I'm just going to bend down and pick up the colours. Hold on. Okay, so Neve's blanket. The main colour in hers is this Tweed Delight from Hobby. In what colour is it? Colour 19. Um, Neve is very much into nature and nature colours, just like her mummy. Um, so this is my main colour, and then I've got, so there'll be, she wants hers doing the other way, so whereas it's curious is striped long ways, Neve wants hers striped that way, um, horizontally. So this is the main colour, and then I've got a skein of this chocolate brown, I've got a skein of dark sage, this is a Karen Simply Soft. And then I've got some glittery beige yarn, cat hairs, probably from her cat. And then I've got this forest colour. Is it forest? It's the same yarn that I have the sweater quantity for. And then I still have some of this left from the Jelly Cube jelly cube card cardigan that I test knit for Kat um, which Neve is getting for Christmas because she loves it um, so let's see if I can probably not but I'm going to see if I can hold all these colours so you can see them with the parcel um <clears throat> excuse me so i need to um do my cast on chain and then figure out how many meters each stripe takes so that i can figure out how many rows of each color I can get out of what I've got because I've got 
ten of this one. I've got four of this one. I've got two of this one. And I've got one of this one. And then these two. So I will be sketching that out today. So I'll show you that later. Um, but yeah, so for now I'm going to go back to watching Vlogmas. See you later. I've just come on to say my hair is a bit knotty today and it's really making me miss my dreadlocks. Mm. I miss my dreads. Just PSA for you. I miss my dreadlocks. That was a So I've finished spinning today's roll egg, which means there are two left in this one. Um, but I'm not sure what colour I want to hold them with for this mild jumper idea. Um, I do have a box of fibre under the little grey sofa that the advent calendar sat on. And then up there, let's see if I can show you, that box there is also filled with fibre. Let me just move that a little bit more. There we go. That box is also filled with lots of fibres. Um, so I'll be having a rummage later to see, because it doesn't have to completely complement, it just can't be too contrasty. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. I've um, been sort of having a play and figured out the construction that I want to use. Um, because the jumper that I had, I actually think it's still in the loft. Because, I mean, it's full of holes but it's very sentimental and I will never part, part with it. Um, but it was an old commercial jumper that my sister bought and it was hers for a while and then it was, she gave it to me when I was 14. Um, so my sister is 13 years and one day older than me. My birthday's the day after hers. Um, and I have had that jumper now 28 years but I can't wear it anymore so yeah I think it's in the loft um so it's just a very simple uh late 80s early 90s style jumper but it's knit in two directions so it's gonna be very simple to do but I need to make sure I have enough yardage um I can probably do it in a thousand yards we shall see um, yeah, so I'm not going to ply that colour with itself on, and chain ply it. I'm going to hold that as a single strand, a bit like I did with this one, which was my uh, mitten spin along, or sock spin along with Carrie from My All Mitten. Um, so 
instead of it being the, the contrast, the, the color, the main color, it's going to be the contrast, so where the white is. Um, so that'll mull quite nicely. Um, I'll talk about this in a second. Um, but I'm not sure if I want it to be light, bright, rich, dark, etc. I'm gonna have to have a look. But as soon as I've got some hand, I will talk about it. This was my socks belong with Carrie last year, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's just been washed and dry. I had it set on the bobbin for 10 months, must be 10 months. And it is so well balanced, I am chuffed. So I did one strand of the color, the gradient, and one strand of the cream, natural color, but then I held the cream as a fourth strand while I chain plied the, the gradient. It was a pig, but I am so proud of it. Isn't it beautiful? Um, and I was talking to Abby about it and it's not going to be socks. Sorry, Carrie. Um, this is going to be a colorwork jumper. So this will be the, the contrast. Um, I've got nearly 300 yards, I think. I can't quite remember. Um, it did have a label on it, I can't remember. But anyway, um, so it's going to be the background, so the contrast color of a colorwork jumper. Because it's beautiful. So yeah. Um, so I have done my advent calendar. I have spun my spinning for day. My face has gone a bit red because I've just washed it. Um, the cold weather has set off my psoriasis, um, which is why it's red and sore looking. Um, I've caught up on some Vlogmas. The last one I've got to watch, which I've literally got eight minutes left, is Tassie, uh, Stitches and Starlight. I can never remember how to podcast. Um, so I've got that. And then I will talk to you about books. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello again. So I was just having a look through my emails and today's email from the fold line, they're doing um, an advent, email advent, I suppose this year. Um, they have got the Sunday dressing gown pattern and you can download the code download the pattern with the code to make it free. Now, I have got so much fabric um, that um, I bought because I liked the fabric without thinking about what I wanted to make with it. And a lot of it is unsuitable for dresses or things because it's quilting cotton. But for a dressing gown, why not? Um, so, I have several pieces of fabric that I can use to make this because um, I am petite, so that's fine. Um, so I want to make two. One I want to make with just the quilt and cotton and it'll be a, a nice little summer number. And then the second one I want to make is a winter one. And what I'm going to do is I will be um, quilting the back of it or the inside of it um, using a fleece blanket. So, however, I printed out my, before I begin, measure your square thing to make sure your print is fine. So width wise, I'm not getting 10 centimeters, I'm getting 10.2. And then depth wise, I'm getting 9.8. But because this is a dressing gown, I'm not worried about that because even if it adds up two millimeters shy a page, um, that's maybe gonna be two centimeters. I can figure that bit out in the seam allowance, that's fine. And dressing gowns are not fitted, so not bothered. Um, yeah, so for, let's see, 
Now it's given in centimetres, so I think I am the extra small. Um, if memory serves correctly, I would do the 86 centimetre size. Um, because obviously there is ease built in. It is a dressing gown. If there wasn't, I'd be worried. Um, it's a beautiful pattern. If you haven't subscribed to their email list yet, go and do so because um, yesterday's was uh, some sort of discount code. Today's was a full discount off this particular pattern if you had it as PDF and there was 12% discount code if you wanted to do a copy shop version. I'm excited to see what tomorrow's is. But um, I'm gonna go stash diving in my yarn cupboard. <laughs> my fibre cupboard. Okay, so the size extra small, which is the size I thought I would be, works out at 33.9 inches, but the finished measurement is 42.3 inches, which is great because I like to wear my jumpers at a 40 inch bust. I like the eight inch positive ease. Um, and then the small is for a 37.8 inch bust, but the finished measurement is 46.26 inches. Just been doing some maths. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that um, instead of it being these are the sizes, it's Female, male, female, male. No. Dressing gowns. It says unisex at the top in the description, but they have made it not. So it's females, male, female, male, etc. Just a. If it's unisex, you don't need to put male, female. It's in the title. So I will be making either the extra small or the small. Um, I'm thinking about using my black fabric, which has got the gold moons on it. Um, I have three meters though, and I need three point, uh, three point eight meters, but it's not, um, no, it's, it's 150 centimeters wide. So I need three meters. So I have enough for that one. And then for the uh one that i'm going to be using a fleece line blanket for um i'm gonna have to dig because it might have to be contrasting fabrics but we shall see i'm not doing it today i just got really excited about doing it time to make some tea please ignore the sound of the printer i am printing out the dressing gown pattern um I have just come to the realisation that most years, um, December is when I'm most inspired for all my makes throughout the year uh, going forward. So this year I am making a concerted effort to write everything down uh, and take pictures and sort of not so much plan them, but partially plan them. So. Um, for example, with this dressing gown, I know I've got the fabric, um, so I need to sort of uh, look into when I have time to do that. Um, the knitting patterns I want to do, the crochet patterns that I'm wanting to work on, pieces of art, etc. And I really want to be more aware of how long things take instead of doing my usual time blindness thing of I can knit a jumper in a day. It's not that bad, but you know, I can sit and knit a jumper in a week if I have to. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> a month is a nice thing for me. Um, so I want to be more aware of that. And I got um, from P. Louise, um, before I ever bought any of their makeup, I got their um big planner thing and then i also have the three month goal getter um get up and grind three month one so 
but I need pencil and these so that I can reuse them because they are expensive. Even in the sale, they're expensive. It was £61 for the two of these together. Um, so I want to use those this year as project planning or that kind of thing. I am just throwing this out into the universe in a let me have the ability to follow this through. So yes, I have just looked up the measurements for Neve's blanket. Kira's is two centimeters too narrow, which is fine because I still have to do this stripe on this side. So that'll be fine. Oh, the joys of Pinterest. It is um, a bit too long um, lengthwise. But there's nothing wrong with having a blanket that's too long because you can just tuck it. Um, so yeah, just verbalising my my brain farts, as it were, my ideas, whatever. Catch you later. It's time to do some reading. I am loving this book. I'll tell you all about it when I've finished it, but you'll have to be a bit patient. Um, so. Today's book of the day is Terry Brooks Landover Kingdom for Sale. Now this is a book that uh, my mother read to me and my twin brother when we were little and my dad would sit and listen as well and then as an adult I bought the entire series and they didn't know that it was more than just the initial book. So there are seven in the series. Um, so I will do the same as I did yesterday and I'll put photos on the screen um, of the books because I've only got the final one not in the loft. I have so many books, they have to be put in boxes, put in the loft. But I am going to be getting a bookshelf to go in this gap here on the wall um, so I can have all my books up again. So yeah, Terry Brooks, Landover, Kingdom for Sale. Enjoy. Hello everyone. So it is now, let's see, 10 to nine. Uh, dinner has been had. Uh, Star Trek has been watched. I love Star Trek. And I'm working my way down the final side of Kira's blanket. <sighs> yes, it has been a good day today. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you all again tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye.